Welcome to today's video you guys. I am ready to tour Rodale Drive with all of you guys since we all live in different parts of the world. And also stay tuned because at the end of the video I'm going to share the fresh bags that I picked up from Hermes with you guys so you can see exactly what I got. So let's get started. So I am now around the corner of Wilshire and Rodale Drive and this is probably the beginning of Rodale Drive and the stairway leads to it's called to Rodale but this is the beginning of Rodale Drive and you can see Tiffany is the first store that you can see and also we have Nello Guccinelli um, which is men's suit and then we also have Carolina Herrera and I feel like on this side like the stores have changed up so much but you have Ramoa Fendi on this side, Golden Goose, those shoes. And I'm happy Versace is moving down because they have a huge flagship store on Turodale when you walk up the stairway. And on my left is the brand new Louis Vuitton store. It's not brand new, but it's been there for like four years now. And Jimmy Choo has been here for quite a while. Um, then we also have Lanvin which it's a wonderful wonderful store i think i ran into like vera wing over here before and her store is just right down the street and coming up is another very famous attraction if you come to rodale drive which is on my right hand side this is the stefano ricci store which they sell very expensive men's suit custom everything and it's very exclusive. There aren't a lot of stuff on Ricci uh, stores around the world, but there is one, and this one has been around for a very long time. This is a two row deal that I was talking about. I'm starting with the watch store Brigade over there. And of course, this is the kind of like the big and first intersection of Rodale Drive and Dayton Way. And of course, you can kind of see Van Cleef right down there. Oh, just really quickly, right in front of Stefano Ricci, there's a really famous Rodeo Drive sign that a lot of people like to take photos of. And as you can see, there were a ton of people. So now let's cross the street because there's a lot to see. You can see Louis Vuitton store, huge flagship over there. And Burberry also did their store a few years back. And here we are, Van Cleef. Hello, it's waving at you and me. So now let's take a walk and walk up the street. Hello, you guys. Happy Sunday. All right, so now I'm gonna just show you guys a close up because I'm closer to the Burberry store. It's got multi stories, and you can see, you know, Dior right next to it. That is actually Dior Woman. They started Dior Men's store down there. Laurel Piana also moved up over there. Right next to it used to be the old Miu Miu store, but Miu Miu was gone for quite a while. Right next to Van Cleef, we have Harry Winston, which is a gorgeous storefront. I think this is one of the specialties. All the storefront on Rodeo Drive is something else. Dolce & Gabbana, and right across the street, I believe that is also a Dior men's store. Um, and right next to it used to be another store, maybe Tots and next to it, it was Coach. And since quarantine, a lot of store has changed, but hey, we still have Bottega Veneta over there and right next to it, very famous Valentino. It has been there for a very, very long time. Next to Valentino, YSL also moved to this location not too long ago. And right across the street, next to IWC, we have the old Coach store. Um, and then we have IWC, International Watch House, Todd, Xenia, and Prada. So that's the left side. On my right side, Balenciaga, Montclair right next to it. There's a lot of new arrangements of stores because some of these stores used to be in a different location. And that is Tom Ford. And across the street, you have Gucci and on top of their terrace, they have a like Michelin star or Michelin chef restaurant and I need to go there. Tom Ford's window always attracts me, but lately the things they've been doing, I'm not sure. I used to know a person that works in there and I would come often, but walking up to it, this is closed, but they're gonna open up later because Sunday hours are like 12 something, from 12 to five. And I was surprised to see a Ferrari store because I saw people walking down Rodeo Drive with Ferrari bags, but I guess that's where it is. 
that's how far we've walked up so far and it is a really beautiful and well-maintained little area and the streets are beautiful um, the stores have been around I think if you love luxury this is a really truly a great place to be to kind of take a look at everything now going forward we have a Rolex store here right next to it Patek Philippe and this is the new Dior store I'm not too sure what it is but I'm hoping it's a pop-up on the other side across from Dior there's Ferragamo Restaurant Constantin, one of my favorite watch brands. We also have David Yerman, the jewelry store next to it. And next to this weird Dior store, there's Tory Burch and of course Cartier. Cartier is actually going to be moving temporarily from this location right across the street for you know several several years and then they're gonna move back because they're going to demolish this building so if you haven't been here and you're local come right now and that's a Chanel store that's been going under construction for the last I don't know four years um, but it's gonna be a super huge Chanel mall so this is the second intersection called the Brighton Way and these are all the stores we just toured, I showed you guys. And turning back, we're going to walk across the street and show you guys what's on the other side. And immediately you can see Bulgari and next to it was Goyar. So let's walk up closer. All right, my turn to walk. Walk, 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 walking, walking closer to Bulgari. And I believe a lot of these stores, they would do like renovation every like 10 years or so. If it's smaller, it happens to be faster. But Bulgari is also, I remember, a relatively new building and that was done in the last couple years. And Goyar is also new, new on the street in the mid Rodeo Drive. And see, right next to Goyar, Cartier is already setting up. This used to be the old Guess store, but Guess closed and they moved somewhere else on Beverly Drive. And that's, you know, pretty much the case right now. Looking away from where I was, there's the MCM store. And Louis Vuitton, this is actually their brand new men's store that just opened doors uh, like less than a month ago. And the trees are covering these doors, so I'm gonna turn around first and show you guys what's on my left immediately. This is the Rodale Drive collection. It's like a collection of different stores. It's a nice courtyard, and it also has some uh, medical practices in this building. Okay, now I have a better view. So once again, that's a Louis Vuitton new men's store. Next to it is Vera Wang. Next to Vera Wang is a new watch store called Jaeger Le Cult. But right at this very moment next to me is store Weitzman and it's, you know, they're famous for shoes. And we have Grand Seiko. A couple of watch stores coming up. And next to Grand Seiko, there's Panerai. And of course, I just have to walk past by this pool and show you guys formally the Hermes store. The Hermes store was also renovated and reopened about maybe 10 years ago or just sometime around there. And also Zheja is right next to it. It's also very, very new. And if you have seen other videos on Rodeo Drive before, you have known the Bijan store. The Bijan store is known for its like very eye-catching yellow color they are a custom um, you know suit store they make suits for presidents and they've just moved to this new location as they used to be on the other side then we have Brioni maybe another men's store and Philip Klein that also moved up I think it used to be where the Golden Goose was and Maxi Mara it's been here for a few years now kind of tucked in in the back like I told you this is the old Laura Piana as first part of Rodeo Drive they are newly open Alexander McQueen and Celine also moved up to a bigger space towards the end of the street but from there next to Hermes the glass doors are Giorgio Armani we have Ralph Lauren and Celine is now here and next to Celine used to be the famous Brooks Brothers store, but they've been gone for quite a few years now. So Louis Vuitton has been doing and hosting the, their exhibitions in this location, which I've also taken you guys on the tour before. And that's the current exhibition. Um, but let's now look on this side before I tell you more. Not sure what this is, but this is a brand called Amiri. And next to it is another watch and jewelry Piaget store. Next to that is the Saint Laurent. The Saint Laurent store unfortunately had been robbed a 
few times as I've seen on news and other things about Rodeo Drive. It's kind of sad, but they've been here around this corner. And I think Rodeo Drive does continue on a little bit more as um, the new Christian Louboutin store has set place over here. But yep, that is pretty much the end. And if you look the other side, it would be uh, the next street to it. But don't worry, the good things don't end here. I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up from Hermes that day. And it's going to be a double unboxing. So let's get to it now. So you now have seen the tour of Rodeo Drive. What do you guys think? I'm pretty sure the first thing on your mind is you're itching to know what did I get from Hermes and of course I'm here to unbox it right now and let me pick it up I have picked up a couple items from the boutique today and I'm really glad both items are actually in stock because a lot of times that is not the case so I'm going to show you guys what I got well this is an envelope that has a certificate in it so any guesses so I have two boxes here. One is the smaller box, one is the bigger box. Are you the one that usually goes for the favorite food on the plate first or you save it to the last? I am usually the one that goes for the tastier one. So I guess we're gonna go for the bigger one first because you guys are probably wondering how come it doesn't have a bow on it. It was originally wrapped and I was trying to get my baby into the stroller, but he refused to sit in the stroller. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to give him a little fun activity and hand him the bag. He had very little patience that day, so he was only holding on to it for five seconds and decided to drop the bag. If you see later on what's in here, you're gonna know, oh, holy crap. Why didn't I think about it beforehand? So right after we got out of the elevator, got on to the first floor, my salesperson checked to see if the item in there is okay because it is very fragile and luckily it is. I hope I am not going to drop it again. So let me be careful and just lay it flat and I'm going to open the box and slowly rotate this up. And you guys can see this is a jewelry tray from their home goods department. It is a tray that I have been wanting for a while because I really, really like the design of this. If you guys have been looking up their home goods items or trays, you know that there are quite a lot of designs. Making this one my first one is really special because this this has been an item that I've been wanting for a while. I was also very lucky to see the blue color in person. Um, so this plate comes in the red color and also the blue color. So I chose the red one it is a very nicely made tray and just a little detail if you care the blue one does not have a matching kind of base um, protector on the back of it the blue one just has a gray color um, back mat over here for it to kind of sit on so I do think this is a really really great tray um, it is full is very photogenic and also it is a statement piece that you can put quite a lot of things in so this is one of the items that I picked up from the appointment now on to the second one this one is smaller but it is small and mighty originally I went into the store booking the appointment to try on necklaces because the one that I had requested last year has finally come in but the necklace didn't work out and I started just exploring and seeing like what is on their display case because they get shipments different times sometimes things are sold out but you just never know what you're gonna run into on the day of so I took a look and this pair of earrings got my attention and it is a pair of um, jewelry from the fine jewelry lineup and I guess the box looks a bit different than the other jewelry boxes that are non-fine jewelry. So fine jewelry does use a different box and this is completely uh, matte in black uh, with a little Hermes stamp over here. And now let's open it up. I hope it doesn't fall out. Okay, so it is a removable lid. So it's not one of those that has a hinge and opens. And here it is. It is a pair of earring from the new Ferrando collection. It is in rose gold and the symbol is of course the famous Jean d'Arc symbol, one of my favorite symbols from the house. And it is just very, very understated. I think for people who are not too familiar with the brand and their symbols, these might look like a pill. 
um because that was my first impression i'm like i like the edginess of you know these pill designs so this pair of earrings has an oval shaped rose gold frame with a little line right in the middle um, this is just something that the brand is really famous for. I did try the pair on and it is better than I thought as I was under the impression that any pieces from the new Ferrando line is not going to work on me because it's so dainty. So I was worried these earrings might be too little but they worked out pretty well. I really love the design of it because it's so dainty and I am due for another new pair of earrings. So I picked these out. These two are the two items that I purchased. So yeah, this video is filled with fun activities. I hope you guys enjoy the Rodale tour with me. And also let me know in the comment section below what is on your Hermes wish list because I'm trying to find items to add to that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love if you do because if you love luxury, this channel is going to be providing you tons of information around this topic. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care for now. Bye. It's time.